This video solves the problem um, of Microsoft Access when you have a SQL Server as a backend and you try to write on datasets then sometimes you get the error which is called uh, now this is in German but it's similar in English a write conflict this record has been modified by another user since uh, editing began when you have the record, uh, when you save the record, you will override the other user's changes. Copying your change to the clipboard allowed you to view the other user's changes in the past and something else. Okay, how does this work, <coughs> or why? What is the solution for this one? So, for this case, I created two clients of the same type. So, what we have here that's a Microsoft Access, uh, which connects the same database with a time uh, with a table and inside the table there is um, one th one time it's a table where there are, where you have here uh, the uh, input field the ID field and this this is the default which you sometimes have in your databases so you have an ID field and the input field and when you have when you when you use this database and uh, there's with no timestamp, so you see timestamp is the solution. Uh, if you have a, those uh, two, let's go there, <coughs> close this one. If you have with two clients, try to write into this table. So this is the, both tables, client A and client B. Then when you write something in there, and for example, in this line, and you're going to write also something in there and uh, when you uh, when you leave the record set there then you will see there's a, a write conflict on there the solution for this is that, that you uh, that you enhance your uh, your field in your SQL server so when I go now to the SQL server where the data are uh, set when you go there Go to the SQL Server there where your database is. Now, when you have this table, and you go there to your, you're enhancing it, you're enhancing it by a field which is called of the time, timestamp, timestamp. Give it a name, something like this. Now, when you when you lose this, uh, when you close this, going out, and when you're now in your client. Now, I have now in the client the same one with a timestamp in here when we go there you will see here's my id it's the same with a primary key and then there's a field which has a binary type this is a binary type of field a size of eight bytes now when i when you use the same table like this one and here the same one with a time field uh with this one and you go there and say I'm changing something in here, I'm changing something in there, I'm leaving it. Ah, you get, they get the same error, but sometimes when you close it, you will not really always have this error. Uh, yeah. Input field, input field. So still some, sometimes still the error is there. but not definitely anymore. And um, oh, I couldn't show it in this case, but in former times, uh, former days, you had to enhance it by this field. Now I still had it uh, reproduced the same one. So sorry. Um, but the problem is when you write a query on there and you're doing a, a bulk updates, on that point then you always have this problem and the temporary uh, the binary field with a timestamp uh, works that works in this way that it first checks the ID and then it checks the temp uh, the the uh, the timestamp and in the, when the timestamp is uh, different then it knows that there is an error so it speeds up a little bit uh, the the changing or the recognition of uh, of if there are uh, changing if changings happened in your uh, in your field so it's a little bit faster uh, faster and 
I'm not sure if it changed in 2013 in the behavior um, since this was uh, from from 2000 to 2013 a main issue that uh, the database uh, always came to this uh, to the error so uh, timestamp uh, you have to set a uh, enhance a timestamp field in all tables um, so that it could be a little bit faster and I unfortunately I couldn't show it <laughs> uh, in this way <laughs> so this was a bit, little bit misleading but I will uh, will enhance it